Okay, y'all. I thought while I was doing it anyway, yep, PJs, um, that I would just show you how I make my mashed potatoes because it is a fascinating process. Now, I've cooked my potatoes, not mushy, but you know, tender with a fork. I drained them really good so there's no water left. Now this pot, y'all, is a four quart pot and it has a lid and can y'all see the little hole right there? I don't wanna drip all over my kitchen. That's a little steam hole right there. So I'm gonna take that off and set it aside. Now, I like this pot because it does not have any uh, Teflon or anything in it. When you're gonna use an electric mixer, you don't wanna use it in a pot with Teflon. So, the only thing I, I don't like about this pot is it's got the metal handles. And I'm telling y'all, do not grab your pot without pot holders. Now, I've got my um, Pioneer Woman uh, hot pad here, but I also have this um, silicone thingy. Now, this keeps your pot from sliding around, and it's supposed to be enough to protect your countertop. But y'all, I'm using both of them because if anything happened to my countertop, I would have a stroke, okay? So, got my pot right there, got my mixer, salt and pepper, heated milk. And yeah, can y'all see that? That's a whole stick of real butter. Now y'all, I did cook a lot of potatoes. Terry loves them, Carol loves them, I love them, and I always send Terry home with an extra dish. Okay, so all I do is I pour all of that in there. Okay, if that's not enough milk, I'll add some more, but, um, and if it's cold, it's okay, because these potatoes are going to have to be reheated anyway. So, pepper, I love pepper, but I won't use too much. Salt, love salt, I'll try not to do too much. Now, I'm going to see if I can pause this video because I don't want you to have to listen to the mixer, okay? So, let me see. How do you pause? Okay, y'all. I have got these potatoes all mashed up. Now, I have made mashed potatoes just about any way you can. You can put a raw egg in your mashed potatoes. Ah, salmonella poisoning! Done it lots of times, never killed anybody. You can, gosh, I don't know, some people use sour cream. Some people put in some cream cheese, chives, bacon bits. I mean, you're getting close to uh, a potato salad when you start doing all that. But, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with mashed potatoes to change them up. Now, my guys love plain old basic mashed potatoes. Now, one thing I will say that if you're going to make mashed potatoes and heat them up later like these are going to be, add a little extra milk. And if you want to have mashed potatoes considered heart attack on a plate, use whipping cream. 
or use that cream that a lot of people put in their coffee. It is so good. But I just use my 2% lactate milk. So what I'm going to do is because I have a huge pot of mashed potatoes. Now y'all, I can sit down and eat a bowl of these by themselves or with some green beans or corn or baked beans. I can eat mashed potatoes with anything. Now I'm gonna tell you, when I was a little girl and um, my mother was divorced and we were pretty poor, I remember mashed potatoes and scrambled eggs. We ate that a lot. And macaroni with butter or with tomatoes in it. So, but I still love those things, y'all. So, what I'm going to do, and hopefully I won't make a big mess. Now, y'all know I cannot do without a rubber spatula. I've got two of them. And I usually have one bigger than this. But I got this one because I really don't cook that much. Although, I'm going to tell y'all, I cook more now than I have in over 10 years. Thanks to Terry and Leo and Maria and Nancy and I love it. So anyway, I'm just gonna take these mashed potatoes and I'm gonna turn it, I mean y'all, this is a lot of mashed potatoes, but trust me, they will not go to waste. Can you freeze mashed potatoes, y'all? I wouldn't think so. Okay, thank goodness I've got my big, beautiful Pyrex dish because it has a cover on it. All right. Now, you want to get water in something like that really quick. Because if you don't, that starch will be hard to get off of your pan. So, when I'm cooking, I keep hot soapy water in my sink. Now, mm. oh my gosh, y'all, these are so good. They're as good as an ice cream cone. Mm. But I will tell you, this is not nearly enough salt for me, but I'm going to let it. Yeah, I have not done anything to myself this morning, but um, I'd have to add salt to mine. But I'm everybody salts and peppers their food before they even taste it, so... I try to keep it just a little bit bland so people can do that. Mmm, y'all. I wish I could let you taste this. I mean, a stick of butter. <laughs> that is so gross. Okay, but now... You can see I have a bowl. Y'all, I used to have a set of this too, and it's so beautiful. And I forget what the name of the pattern is. I never used plastic, if I could help it. Now, oop, I just peeled off a big old hunk of butter. And I'm going to plop it right down there in the middle of those potatoes. Mmm. So, my chicken's cooked. All I have to do is my green beans. And we'll have a pretty good little meal. Now, Terry and I don't ever have um, 
salad really with our meals. I don't know why, but if I do make a salad, I just make the salad a meal. So anyway, y'all, I know that is terribly, oh, look, the butter's starting to melt. I could just get a big old spoon and eat all that middle and that butter. Doesn't that look good? Look, it's dripping. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I dropped that whole bowl? Woo! You know, a lot of people, because they edit, if they did that, they would not show it. But you know what? I show everything. So, um, that's it for this video, y'all. And um, I think this is my second one today. And I'm probably not done. So, y'all do something fun today. And I can guarantee you that if you were here and you could taste these mashed potatoes, it would be your something fun. Love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye now.